Welcome back to another episode of Turbo's Torch. This is the show that holds no punches, no topic is taboo. Cadaver threw out the challenge after enduring the hot seat, and I'm happy to say the challenge was accepted. From Coney Island Warriors, welcome to their captain, the Injury Factory. Turbo, how are you, mate? I'm going well, how are you? Yeah, good, mate, good, good. It's, um, it's a little bit warm, so i um, been now looking forward to it, mate. Were you surprised that Dev challenged you? Um, well, I could barely hear what he was saying, but... Um, <laughs> That's that like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and he fixed it, and I tried to undo yeah. the zip on it, and he just fought me all the way, so I thought, oh, well... Go yeah, yeah. yeah. No, well, look, he, look, he's fond of it, but... Um... Has he got a problem with you? Why do, why do you want to do this to you? Well, no, look, I, I just think, um, look, I, I haven't uh, been my first uh, gig on a, on a potty, and, and I think, um, yeah, look, he's just um, thrown down the gauntlet, so here we are. Well, I'm glad to see you on board. So, okay, <laughs> you know how it works. I ask the questions, you answer. No padding, no bullshit, just get it out raw and honest, or I will turn up the heat. Tiff, have you been prepped for any of the questions I'm about to ask? No, no, I haven't, mate. Have you signed the form from Barely Legal that removes me from any responsibility of anything that happens to you both physically or mentally a result of coming under Turbo's torch? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, Pants, uh, pants gave that to me during the week. Very good. He's finally doing his job. Yeah. <laughs> if, are you ready? Yeah, ready, Turbo. Let's go. Time starts now. Your Quinder account says you are 32, into Pornhub and watching the pool guy clean the pool. Are you lying about your age? <laughs> yes. You've been very vocal in the rules and penalties thread, particularly when dealing with the bombers who you describe as fucking nuffies. <laughs> Wayne's World 19 came back with, do you sleep through committee discussions? So, do you? Uh, no, no, I don't, actually. I, look, I, I sleep through a few Wayne's posts, but I, I'm sure I'm not alone. Um, but no, look, I, I think uh, no, look, I'm, I'm very much uh, engaged, and um, as you know, your community rep, uh, Ned Flanders, would um, test to as well, mate. No, look, I'm, I'm there pretty much 24 7. You have some inactive players in your squad. If you could delist three and replace them with current, in form, red hot goodie players, which three would you grab now? Uh, to bring in? Uh, ooh, good question. I think, look, probably. Menangatang, uh, the Filth Wizard, and Harvey Manfred Jensenden. Yeah, it's a bad name, that one, isn't it? You should have stuck to the Jesus. <laughs> it's a shocker. Santos asked if you were suggesting he was a broken genius. You responded with, no, I'm suggesting you're a temperamental dickhead who cries in the arms of hairy old men. Are you hairy? <laughs> uh, no, look, I, you know, I'm probably medium, mate. Medium, it's sort of a medium coat. Ace Andy and Wayne's World 19 are now members of the Order of the White Feather. Gutless squibs who have been challenged to sit in the hot seat and have run. What do you make of Ace Andy's refusing to come on the show? What do you think he is hiding? Uh, good, good question. Um, He's I hiding think... something. Yeah, look, I, I think, he, he, look, he's a very secretive man, eh? So I don't think he gives a lot away. I think he, he likes to keep his cards close to his chest. Um, he's a pretty, he's a pretty straight shooter, and I think, look, maybe, maybe there is something going on there. Maybe there's, there's a little bit more to meet the eye. Come on, you've, you've got a bit of a <laughs> sniff on it. Uh, give us just a little taste. Just give the viewers a bit of a taste. What? I reckon he's probably a little bit uncomfortable about... Um, oh, look, I'd suspect there might be a bit of Kaz chat in that, and um, I reckon that it's probably something that he's... Uh, a move that he regretted, um, and obviously probably not in line with uh, the culture that he's probably trying to bring to the Dragons. You hear that, eh, Sandys? Get on the bloody show and clear yourself instead of being a puss. When the Warriors lose or players are not happy with field positions, you often blame your inaugural coach, Brad Hardy. Isn't it time <laughs> you owned your own fuck-ups? <laughs> oh, look, um, look, at the end of the day, I mean, the, the buck stops with, uh, with the coach and, um, you know, Brad's a very vocal man and, um, 
he's, he's, he has some uh, some opinions, and um, we butted heads back in S27 when he um, had a spate of um, um, taking me out of the um, out of my, my preferred positions and dumping me on the bench. So there's not a lot of love uh, lost there between um, Hardy and myself. I see you have the Tiger King avatar. Are you anything like him? <laughs> um, oh, good question. No, look, um, no, look, no, look. I, I'd say I, I think if I'm looking around the club, I'd say Pants is probably more Tiger King than I am. Just picture that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think he's, he's got a few husbands floating around the league, so... Uh, <laughs> Has he done any musical film clips? Because I love that shit. <laughs> uh, you have described Bloody as the board's most verbose man. Is that just a nice way of saying he speaks a load of shit? Yeah, 100%. The mid-season survey had you just behind natural disaster immunity as next admin. Would you want to take the top job? Uh, no, look, I, honestly, in, in a word, no. Um, but look, I, I do, I do enjoy my time in the committee. Uh, you know, and look, I have, um, I do have, you know, some strong um, feelings and, uh, and and opinions about um, the the competition and, um, and and obviously, you know, that things are in place to make sure that um, the, the the competition thrives and. Um, you know, that we continue to build and, and, and grow the comp. Um, but no, look, I think in terms of leadership aspirations, uh, I, I'd be quite comfortable with those two blokes ahead of me. So you think after Fumbler becomes an ex-admin and then he stands <laughs> down, you may take the job? <laughs> well, yeah, look, I mean, um, look, I, I think, you know, Fumbler um, can make this WFA great again. Um, he's, he's got that kind of a kind of a vibe. But no, look, I think there's a number of guys in the community at the moment that would do an excellent job. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think it is a bit of a tough though, and um, you know, it's definitely something that you've got to you've got to take on um, with both hands. I think, and um, yeah, look, I, I think you've really got to. Win. So, do you think the next admin should come from the committee? Uh, look, I think it should come from somebody that uh, that really has, uh, you know, uh, I, I guess a really clear idea of how they want the competition to run and. I, th I think there's some really great um, candidates in the committee. I, th I think there's also potentially uh, you know, a handful that aren't. Um, and so you're talking about Ned Flanders there, aren't you? A hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I think. Um, I, look, I think there's 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 a handful of guys around the, the competition. Um, uh, you know, at, at the moment that um, yeah. Look, I, I think would would do a great job. And no, I was same. talking about wouldn't do a good job. Oh right. Oh yeah. yeah I'm talking about Ned Flanders here. Yeah. Well. I, well, the courthouse would be interesting because it'd just be punching frogs in the neck. Uh, oh yeah. And drinking doom, so. <laughs> um, exactly. you know, we need to get on the vote. Ned Flanders has had me. <laughs> He'd love that. Well, there you go. There's the platform. Right. Oh, you stated that Finbar 19 is buried somewhere in Mount Buller under an avalanche of Tarkin 24's ego. <laughs> Hasn't been seen since. Do you think Tarx has the biggest ego in the SFA, or are they bigger? No, no, there's, no, there's, there's, oh, there's, there's a good twenty odd bigger egos in, in, in the comp, and I, and I dare say that, um, yeah, no, look, he, he's he's pretty far away down the list. Um, oh, you know, name some. Who, who are your top contenders for biggest <laughs> ego in the SFA? This is what this show's about, pulling those oh. bastards out. So, who are the egotistical bastards out there? Oh well, look. I think um, I think you only have to look one step um, down the all-time goal kicking ladder to find the, the biggest ego in the competition, and I think he'd quite uh, comfortably own that. And that's Oki, um, the man with the biggest CV in the comp. I, I don't think you can really look any further than that. The first time I posted up against him, I just posted <laughs> punch yourself in the pussy. He was <laughs> pissed, and he kept sending emails into everyone, basically trying to say to them. This is wrong. This guy should be punished. <laughs> no, this is a, and eventually they all told him to punch himself in the pussy and he got over it. Now it's a good joke. So, all right, Oki I go with. He's, he's certainly got a CV to prove his ego. Who else yeah. we got? Uh, look, I think uh, I think our mate Wayne's world, um, he's got a healthy um, opinion of himself. 
Um, he, he doesn't mind um, getting on the soapbox. Um, yeah, is that ego? Oh, look, I think I think it I think at times. Um, I'm, I mean, I I think you know it's a it's a it's a bit of a, a fine line between um, you know your persona and your ego, isn't it? Yeah, I just think he sees himself as captain of the Bombers and he's got a mission and that's to agitate the competition and that's exactly what he yeah, does. It is 100%. Yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, he's definitely on the um, on the aircraft carrier uh, with, the, with the banner behind him. He's, he's definitely mission accomplished. Yeah, I just think if it was all about ego, he wouldn't be handling the, the lambusing he gets because, you know, if you've got an ego, you don't really want people putting you down all the time either. You want to be, you know... At the top, he had taken yeah. over the captaincy role in just three seasons. Is this indicative of the lack of leadership depth of the Warriors? <laughs> no, look, I think it's indicative of uh, uh, you know a strong um, uh, you know plan in place. Um, obviously, Woosh um, was really looking for uh, you know a, a good contingency plan to um, uh, yeah to look to have somebody be able to, to take on the, the role and. and um, somebody that was going to really, I guess, um, you know, bring bring some, some fresh um, you know, ideas and fresh eyes and uh, you know, really be able to, uh, I guess, look to rebuild the club and, um, you know, obviously be working really close with the um, in S26 towards the back end and then S27 is, um, as her, um, her, her boss, um, Skipper, uh, along with Pants, I, I think it just... Um, yeah, look, it just made sense, and I think um, you know, season three. I think you know, we've seen a lot of skippers around. The competition have really stepped up around that sort of season, season three mark, and I think you, you get a good feel for your club and um, and feel for your, uh, your your teammates and and where you're kind of going. And um, yeah, look, I think you know, at the time, I was probably a bit a bit uh, a bit nervous about taking on the, um, the responsibility, but uh, I think in hindsight. It, uh, set me up to to um, to where we are now, where I think you know we've, we've got a really um, you know we've had a really good off season and um, S29 off the field um, we haven't been better since I've been at the club and um, you know looking at on field obviously um, it's been another one of those up and down years at um, Coney Island so which is code for a crap season <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Been, yeah, it's been shit out. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> nice work. But hey, we're still in, we're still in with a chance. We're still, we're still <laughs> yeah. In. Yeah. The bottom teams are still in with a chance. Excellent. That's it. That's Does it. you two Tigers move to the Bears, reek of desperation to be back at the ruck at any cost? Um, yeah, absolutely, 100%. I, I, think, um, I think all the rest of it was scuttled, but um, I think it's just purely. Um, a bit of a, a bit of a bruised, uh, bruised ego there that um, that he was, he was you know, giving the ass from the ruck, and I think um, you know he's just looking to, yeah. Look, I think he's looking for for, for a chance to um, to regain some of that glory, and um, yeah. Look, I, look, I think um, I think rucking is better with Bono. Um, I think you know the edge um, and that sort of uh, you know that that sort of content. I think um, he really. Um, you know, leads that rucking fraternity, and um, look, I think it can only be for the comp. So, if I, I think it's the good pickup for the Bears. And, um, you know, I, I think I think Bono will um, definitely make a bit of an impact at, um, at, at the Bears nest there. Well, here's some breaking news being broken on the under Turbo's torch. I've actually been in talks with you two Tigers about getting the edge going again, and he's agreed with me that we're both going to go for it. And next season, the edge is coming back. Well, so, I think that everywhere will be um, be relieved to, to hear that, and um, <laughs> yeah. they'll, be, they'll be greasing themselves up in the mirror um, <laughs> as we speak, just getting ready for that one. What's currently hot in the SFA? What's hot? Turbo's torch, mate. Um, I, I oh, think yeah. that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a given. Uh, what else is hot? Oh, look, I think. Um, Inspirational posting is pretty hot at the moment as well. Um, yeah, look, and I think um, I think we're heading into B season, so I think uh, I think media as a whole is going to uh, really lift off. I mean, you, you, you always <laughs> love it when Clark M starts pumping out media, and um, yeah, look, so but I think we're um, yeah. And there's a bit of a there's a bit of a chase um, on for um, for those bottom positions in the eight. Um, 
you know, sort of that month out from, from finals as well. So I think it's um, all systems go. Round 11 Warriors against the Bears. You posted, looking forward to Sunday. Can't wait to watch Test Tickle ram it down Tigger's throat all day long. Might even film it. <laughs> Please tell me you filmed it. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. Of course I did. Uh, I wasn't going to miss out on that opportunity. Uh, look, I'm a big um, testicle man, and uh, and also I have really enjoyed um, uh, Tiger's uh, uh, coming coming back to the to the comp. I think um, you know he's been a really great um, great addition to the league again uh, in, uh, in here in S29, and I think. Um, yeah, look, it's uh, look. I definitely just popped over there just to um, to check in on, on my mates, the Bears, and just see how were, um, how they were tracking. And um, yeah, just sort of yeah, I, I just got excited by the um, by the thought of it, really. Oh, absolutely. So I look, so I'll get you to send me a copy of that, all right? And yeah. I'll keep it just to myself. It's all right. No, no worries, mate. Right, and I can exchange some stuff with you because me and Tess Tickle have done some pretty bloody gangy shit together. So <laughs> don't worry. You give me, I can do trade in right. You didn't get the echo and have publicly claimed back in S27 that quality contributors like yourself and Cadaver were savagely discarded. Does it still burn you you didn't win that badge? The echo? No, I was never uh, I was never anywhere near it, mate. Um, look, I think um, look, those two guys in uh, Cadaver and uh, and Baz, they were going well truly, um, you know, you know, the, the standouts from our crowd. No, no, no. Just enough of the humble shit. Pull the bastards <laughs> down and claim your rightful place. You were robbed <laughs> of the echo. Look, look, I think, I think, look, Brad did say at the time that, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, there's definitely a, a case for hindsight uh, that four or five seasons down the track. And um, I think he did uh, suggest that uh, that I might be the, uh, the moral victor at that stage. But... Look, I, I think, as I say, I, I think the, the, it was uh, S twenty six is um, arguably the, the best crop that um, that's ever come through the competition, and uh, I think you're going to look down. But, uh, no, yeah. no, no, <laughs> no, no, back, no, it's back, it's back. But um, I think you've only got to look around the competition, and you, you, you see uh, you know, some of the names that have come through there. Um, you know, you've got uh, you've got three current club captains. Uh, you know, top uh, three of the top five in the Bs last season. Uh, and you've also got a mobs medalist as well, so... That's more an indictment on the fucking SFA than the <laughs> proof that that was a good year. You can only play what's in front of you, mate. <laughs> you stayed at Easter is the time of year where you always take a moment to celebrate the life and times of the purple Jesus. Correct. Is this a relative of the Jesus? Uh, <laughs> um, it's well, it's probably the Jesus after he's um, had a bit of time alone in isolation, I reckon, and maybe the... Um, the missus and the kids are down at the shops or something like that. Um, I can imagine that uh, the old, uh, the old purple-headed Jesus gets a, gets a run. If you had to play for another team, which would it be and why? Um, look, I think probably the Demons. Um, just a really big fan of um, of them as a club. Uh, I, you know, I think they've they've always had good leadership since I've been in the competition. Um, they, you know, they they're actually on a bit of a slide at the moment, but um, but, but historically they've um, been really right up at that, that um, you know, upper echelon of, um, of, of of the competition on the field and I think off the field. Um, they've just got so many great posters um, un, under their um, their roof and I think I just really love the way that they go about it. So I think, yeah, look, if, I think if I was looking for a move, um, Demons would definitely be um, be my first my first stop. Um, yeah, look, and I obviously opportunity to play with um, you know, some of my, my favourite posters in the comp. Jeez, look at the Furies. We're first on the competition. You get free goon, complimentary lap dance of kittens. How could you go past that? <laughs> well, well, no, mate, look, I, I think, I think honestly, I think if we got enough, uh, you know, if, if, my, if somebody like myself was uh, was over at uh, at the Demons, I reckon we might be able to prize you out of it. Yeah, right, eh? Let's try it. <laughs> Manangatang talking about Demons. Yep. Won the Bs, S28. Yep. There was some doubt cast over the voting manipulation of the results. Do you think you were robbed? Nah, 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 nah. Menangatang's, he's going for back-to-back, I reckon. I, I, I think he's, um, yeah, look, he's absolutely, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, massive, uh, you know, media contributor. Um, he's a great captain uh, and a, a you know, really 
elite uh, match poster and, and I think um, really get a kick out of, out of what he does. Um, Mate, 56% of the SFA have picked you as the clear favourite for this <laughs> season's bees, and you're blowing wind up Manangatang. Mate, this is your opportunity to turn that 56 into 90%. <laughs> so oh, start look, again. Think, um, Why you know, shouldn't look, Manatang win the bees? Come on! <laughs> oh look, I think it's um it's a it's a really uh it's a packed race this season, and I think um it's yeah look it's going to be really interesting to see the the makeup of the top five this season, and um yeah look it, obviously uh, you know really nice to, to to have that acknowledgement um across the comp, but I think realistically, mate, I, I think you really never really know where you're at in that that beast hunt until you um. And, and you know, until, the, until it's posted. Time is up. Thanks, Injury Factory. And I have one last question. Who would you like to see in the hot seat next? Uh, it has to be Pants Kyle um, for me. You heard it, Pants. Have you got the courage to sit in the hot seat and prove yourself? This is Tiger Turbulence, making it even hotter in the SFA.